Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. By the title of this video, you already know what I want to share with you. How do you know when to buy or to sell when you're placing a trade? Uh, when, uh, when it comes to trading, you either are a buyer or you are a seller. How do you know when to buy or to sell? This is the video for today. So if you're interested to know how do you know the, the time to buy or the time to sell, continue watching. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing, like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And without wasting any time, let's get down into the video. So if you have never traded or you it's your time you're beginning to trade, you have to analyze the chart. And the chart, I mean, you have to analyze the market. You know, you need to know where the price is going even before you think of placing a trade. Right now we are in tradeview.com. So in the tradeview.com, you can choose any pair that you want to analyze. This is uh, GBP uh, NSD. It's British pound versus New Zealand dollar. So this is what you see. You are a newbie, you have seen a chart like this. You don't know what to do. You don't know what, what will make you either sell this pair or take a sell position or a buy position. And that's why we are here. So when you open your chart like this, the first thing you need to ask yourself is what is the trend? What is the trend? So that's the first thing that you need to ask yourself. What is the trend? So the first thing we are asking ourselves what is the trend and the trend can be two things either it can be a down a downward trend it can be a downward trend or it can be an upward trend so the trend can be two things it can be either upward upward trend or it can be downward trend that's the first thing actually you ask yourself whenever you see something like this so the the first thing you when you open any chart when you open any chart ask yourself what is the trend is it an upward trend or is it a downward trend as you can see here we have a mixture of or uh, you can say downward trend or consolidation like it's not moving consolidation means like uh, the market is in one place so what is the trend the trend can be upward we mean with it can be going up like that it is up then down we mean it is going down like that and then consolidation we mean it is not moving it's like it is like still it is in one place that's what we mean by upward uh upward trend this is upward trend this is downward trend and then there's consolidation so in this chart let me see if i can get an upward trend because that's the first thing. if you at least know what's the trend you'll be able to understand if you will take a buy position or a sell position so for example uh from here to here this is an upward trend you can see um a bullish it was a bullish market bullish it means it's a a, a buy trend or an upward trend so if i take this one you can see the price how the price was moving from this level to this so this is an upward trend so the price started here as you can see the price started here and then it continue increasing 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 until it hit somewhere here so that's an upward trend if we can come here and and look at this from here from this position we have a downward trend you see so the price has moved from this position all the way down that becomes a downward trend and now let me try and get a consolidation trend where the 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 price was not like moving you see here and if you want to know at a, a consolidation you just put a box and you will you will realize the price is not moving it's not moving up either it's not moving with it has the same 
support and the same resistance when it goes down like it's not moving with many pips it's just like constant somewhere so that's how you you that's that's the first thing you ask yourself so if it is an upward trend for example uh let let me give you an example with this one because already let me give you an example with this chart okay we have said this is a downward trend the first thing you have realized this is a downward trend so what is the trend this is a downward trend so this is a downward trend so i will just delete the upward trend because it's not upward it's downward okay so this is downward let me just uh delete that one you can see the price started from here all the way to this place so if you if you know the trend is going downward what are we expecting in this place what are we expecting so uh there are so many things that people uses uh to, to help them guide them in the buy or sell position but as for me i just use three things i use moving average to use the market structure market structure is it making a high high or a high low or is it making a low high or a, a low low and um let's see let's see so in this in this market we have a downward trend yes and then we have moving average we have 20 ma the red one is 20 ma the black one is 50 ema if you are new to this you need to just go to to it's just you add the 50 ma the 20 ma you can either work with 20 ma you can either work with 50 ma but i like working with both of them so that if they cross they give me a confirmation so after realizing this is a, a downward trend and you know or uh, on in a downward trend we are looking for sale because the market is going down we need to sell this market when it is in, at this peak and then maybe we take our profit if the market goes down so the market when it is a downward trend you are you are looking for a sale so for example this is where you have found the chart already the market was starting from here all the way you have missed this move all this move like you have missed now we want to know how what will will tell us to enter this sell trade because we have realized this is a sell we are we have an opportunity to do a sell position what will help us to put a, a to place a trade on sale we can just look at three things we can look at um first of all uh we come here and try to analyze and uh, like i've told you i use 20 ma and 50 ema 50 ma this is a one hour chart in a one hour chart 50 ama is not that helpful like in maybe two hours four, four hours but in one hour and 15 minutes i see 20 ema becoming more helpful so uh in 20 in in one hour if you find that 20 ema uh has crossed from from the top because i use them in in i use them both of them there's a way i know if the 20 ma was trending above and then it comes and cuts the 50 ma you see here it has cut the 50 ma you can just place your trade but now you maybe you have found you have found that the market is in this position and you're wondering what should i do next the other thing you can do is to realize what what is happening to the prices the prices is trying the buyers are trying to push the price to the 20 ma but they are not able to pass the 20 ama as you can see it has really touched quite a few times and this shows you that the value or the key area is in the 20 ema so it will be wrong of you to come and sell at this position because the best position to do your sell is when the price has touched the 20 ema so what you do you just wait for the price to touch the, the you 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 wait the price to come up either touch the 20 ema and it can go far and even touch the 50 ama then when it has touched the 50 ma now you are preparing for a sell 
And remember, if it touches the 50 EMA, now that won't be a sell because the market it will have this, it will have, it will have gone against the market structure. It's all about knowing what is the trend. First of all, know what is the trend. Then understand if you're using 20 EMA, no, uh, is the price coming to 20 EMA? So your 20 EMA becomes like a resistance. The buyers they are trying to push this price, but they are being it's being rejected at the 20 EMA. So that's what you need to understand in a in a trend. If you get a new chart, kindly look at these things. First, ask yourself, what is the trend? The other thing, make sure you're using 20 EMA, 50 EMA, but I suggest 20 EMA if you're using one hour, 15 minutes. 50 EMA just helps you to, to it's like a confirmation. Yes, I hope you have, you have uh, learned something. Make sure to, make sure to use um 20 ma 50 ma make sure to use market structure market structure is how is the price forming uh from one level to the other and then pay attention on the on the candle pattern it can show you maybe this market it can it can start showing you uh many dojis in one place it that shows that it is in consolidation and uh, yeah when you check these few things, you'll be able to make a good decision. I hope you have really, really helped. Uh, you have gotten something from this video. It's all about knowing when to buy or when to sell. And I've told you, if the market is going down, if you see a downward trend, it's a sell. But you don't just get in in a sell. You make sure that this market, uh, you make sure that it has given like three things, three uh go ahead so thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing until next time bye bye love you